Psalms 126 verses 5 and 6 say, They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. He that goeth forth and weepeth, bearing precious seed, shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing his sheaves with him. Galatians 6 9 says, And let us not be weary in well doing, for in due season we shall reap, if we faint not. Okay, there are going to be seasons in our life, in our spiritual walk with Christ, where we go through difficulties and where our soul is weeping and we are crying physically sometimes, and where we are mourning because we feel lost, we feel abandoned, we feel hopeless sometimes, we feel like we're never going to break this cycle. Like when they wandered around in the wilderness. We feel like we're never going to break the cycle. But we need to keep a positive attitude. We need to keep faith. Keep faith in God. Keep optimistic behavior. And keep pressing forward. And keep investing into the kingdom. Into our own righteousness. Into our faith in Christ. And into others by investing Christ into others right do not grow weary in well doing for in due season you shall receive a reward it is a beautiful thing to get to the finish line and to know that you did not betray Jesus that you made it through that season of trial and affliction and you went from glory to glory I'm going to find that verse because it's pretty cool. If I could find it, sometimes it's harder. Okay. 2 Corinthians 3.18 But we all with open face beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord are changed into the same image from glory to glory even as by the Spirit of the Lord so we are going from phase to phase to phase it's like a video game we we fight through the enemies and then we get to the end guy and that's the difficult one and then once we're done with that we get to take a breather we get to relax and we're we are grateful that we survived and we are stronger because we made it through and sowing in tears is like fighting the enemy we are going up up against the enemy and we continue to be faithful to Jesus when we are suffering when we are confused when we are not filled with his joy and we persevere Jesus said we have to endure to the end we have to persevere and when we do, we show that we are faithful to Him and, and it pleases God very much. There was a, one time when I was dating my wife before we got married. I was dating her and we got into a misunderstanding. And she and I felt really bad about what was going on and so we quit talking for it. We planned on quit to quit talking. And it was devastating to me because she misunderstood what was going on. And um, I said, I'm not going to let this stop me from serving Jesus. I'm not going to let this make me depressed and run out and get alcohol. You know, I'm not going to let this make me go buy weed or whatever. I'm going to keep serving Jesus. And I, I left home and I went out. To the, to the streets and I witnessed to a lady I witnessed to a few people and the lady I was witnessing to said she felt the spirit of God when I went and talked to her so that was a powerful experience and I decided to sow in my tears to sow while I was mourning and to serve Jesus and to plant Christ into someone else that's what we sow we sow Christ into the world we sow Christ into our own heart and we believe God will bring the increased God will rain upon it he will sign the sun upon it and 
that seed will turn into a fruitful tree in our lives. And that lady got probably got saved or got encouraged or strengthened as a Christian, or maybe she met God for the same for the first time. I didn't talk with her long, but it was a nice experience. And when I got back home, my girlfriend met back. My girlfriend allowed me to get back together with her, and she understood how it was a misunderstanding, and God fixed the problem. But if I had gone and gotten alcohol and used this this horrible, not horrible, well, it was pretty horrible, this sad, sad event in my life to cause me to stop sowing in tears, I would have ended up sowing in tears and then reaping in tears. But now I'm reaping in joy because I'm with my wife and things have gotten better, obviously. So, yeah. Hope this is encouraging to you. And keep on sowing. Keep on pushing the plow. Alright? You will get into a good season. You will rejoice. Not only on earth, but in the kingdom of heaven. Be faithful to Jesus, even against the tribulations and the afflictions that are coming against you. Make him proud of you. Depend on his strength to do it too. Depend on him. All good things come from him. All the power you have to repent and to serve him comes from him. He is the source. 